Internal parasitism in sheep and goats is the number one issue facing producers in the southeastern United States. A sheep or goat can die in a little over a month from blood loss to these worms if not treated. A fecal egg count is a simple procedure you can perform at home to get an approximation of the parasite load your sheep or goats are carrying. The test utilizes a microscope to estimate the number of eggs per gram of feces. The count will also help you find out if your dewormer is still effective or if the gastrointestinal parasites in your herd or flock have become resistant to it. To conduct a fecal egg count, you'll need a few items, most of which you can find around the house. You will need small disposable cups, a marker, a small bowl, a tea strainer, craft sticks or a spoon, sugar, a pitcher, a 30 cc syringe, a 3 cc syringe, a gram scale, disposable exam gloves, obstetrical lubricant, an eyedropper, a McMaster egg counting slide, and a microscope. Keep in mind that the microscope does not need to be expensive. Microscopes capable of 100x magnification can be purchased for less than $100. Look for a 10x wide field lens and a bright light source. To begin the procedure, label the small cups with the number of the animal from which you will collect some feces. It's important to match the samples you collect to specific animals in order to ensure higher accuracy on an individual level. You may be able to collect fresh feces if you see the animal defecate. Otherwise, use an exam glove and lubricate the index finger. Insert your finger into the rectum of the goat or sheep and gently remove about 8 to 10 fecal pellets and place them in a bag or directly into the cup. You will only need 2 grams of feces, so this will ensure you have plenty. After you have your samples, mix 5 parts of sugar to 4 parts water to make your sugar solution. An easy measurement is 1 and a quarter cups of sugar in 1 cup of water. It may take some time and a little heating on the stove to get the sugar to dissolve completely. The solution is intended to be very dense, so that once the fecal samples are mixed with it, any eggs will float to the top. If you have a gram scale, weigh out two grams of feces for each animal and discard the rest. If you do not have a gram scale, use a 3 cc syringe and pack 2 cc's or 2 milliliters of feces into the syringe to approximate 2 grams. You can cut the tip off the syringe to make it easier to get the feces out of the syringe once you have measured the sample. Remember to keep each animal's sample separate. Place the feces in the tea strainer and put the tea strainer in a small bowl. Use the 30 cc syringe to measure 28 cc's, or 28 milliliters, of the sugar water solution and add it to the bowl. Crush the fecal pellets in the tea strainer with a craft stick or spoon so that they begin to dissolve in the sugar water solution. The tea strainer will keep the larger fibrous particles from getting into your sample so you can see the parasite eggs better under the microscope. Make sure the fecal pellets dissolve as completely as possible without mashing them too hard as this can get too much fiber in the final sample. Remove the tea strainer and discard the fibrous material that remains in it. Stir the sugar water fecal solution with your craft stick to thoroughly mix the sample. The McMaster egg counting slide has two chambers, each of which has a grid etched into the surface of the slide. While the solution is still swirling, use the eyedropper to collect some of the fluid. Gently but quickly squeeze the fluid onto the edge of the McMaster egg counting slide. The fluid should move fairly easily and evenly across one of the chambers of the slide. Repeat the procedure, including stirring the sugar water fecal sample, and load the second chamber. Allow the sugar water fecal sample to settle briefly, about five minutes. You may use this time to prepare the next sample for counting. Use the 4x or 10x objective lens to count the parasite eggs you see that are in the grid area. Start by focusing the microscope on the air bubbles. Air bubbles will float at the same level as the parasite eggs, but they are easier to find. Air bubbles are round and will be dark around the edges and bright in the middle. Parasite eggs will be oval and lighter around the edges and darker in the middle. You may want to use a clicker counter, available for under $20, to keep track of your count. There are usually two knobs beneath the stage where the slide rests. These knobs allow you to move the slide up and down and from side to side slowly so you can get an accurate count. Do not include eggs that are outside the grid lines of the slide or you will overcount the number of eggs. Note that the grid lines on the slide can often be difficult to see in the samples that contain too much fibrous material or if the microscope's light bulb needs to be replaced. Now you want to find the number of eggs per gram of feces in your sheep or goat. Write down the animal number and number of eggs in the fecal sample. Add 
add the number of eggs counted in each chamber together and multiply the total by 50. This will give you the number of eggs per gram of feces in your sheep or goat. Creating a home fecal egg count kit is relatively inexpensive and the procedure is easy. Deworm your sheep and goats when the fecal egg counts become too high, but use FAMACHA scores and other signs of parasite infection to decide which animals to deworm and when to deworm them as well. For more information on this or other livestock topics, you can contact me at 870-575-7214 or at fernandezd at uapb.edu.